Okay, so we made it to Anchor Down. We are so happy to be here. Is this our third time, Bunky? I think it's our third time we've been here. And every single time, I am still completely blown away by the beauty of this place. Like, the mountains over the lake, it is breathtaking. Like, I cannot stop just cheesing. My heart is so happy. It is beautiful here. So last night we grilled out some burgers and just try to get ourselves all set up and situated. We had a little fire for a little bit because Monkey couldn't really keep it going, but we're gonna try again tonight. Yeah. And we got ourselves ready this morning. We are the most excited. We've been waiting for like a whole year for this. We are going to Five Oaks Farmhouse Kitchen mm. for breakfast. Y'all, the last time we went there was the first time we'd ever been in Oh blown, my gosh. blown away. Blown away. Blown away. The food is out of this world. So we are headed there right now. We are on pins and needles. And then after that, we are thinking we're going to go to the apple barn and then maybe head over to the island, I think is what it's called. Lots of y'all have always recommended that place. And we have never actually been to the island to like walk around. Mm -hmm. We've drove through it. That's about it. So we're going to go hang out there for the day. And then tonight, we actually have a surprise guest that told us they are going to stop by and I can not wait so we'll show you who that is we're gonna grill out some chicken fajitas all the things so let's get going What'd you think? Tell us what you got this time. I got the um, grits casserole and it had, there's like grits and then cheddar cheese, the uh, brown sausage, ham, green onions, tomatoes, just in like a bowl. Two sunny side eggs. Oh yeah, there was two, two sunny side up eggs on top of all that. And then I had a biscuit on the side, and it came with cinnamon stewed apples. And then I got two scrambled eggs with sausage, a biscuit, and they have what they call like ribbon cut hash browns. Field potatoes. Field potatoes. They are delicious. Those were good. Those are so good. And then we got a like half of a waffle. That was delicious. It is she just brought, the best. She brought us out some blackberry compote. Blackberry compote. Because we made it to the tail end of... Uh, breakfast now i do say that the biscuit could have been a little bit more fluffy and buttery yeah since we're like on you know biscuit analysis yeah these days you've got denver biscuit company what was the one that we just ate a millstone oh yeah millstone millstone five oaks not not, not my it. style of biscuit no it was very it was still good they're huge they're huge they're, they're huge dense. yeah they're not airy yeah, they're not, they're not as like, I don't, know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But the sweet tea at this place is delicious. Yes. Okay, we are back from our adventures of the day. Yep. We're watching the sunset. Bunky has the black sun hot. 
about to start cooking some dinner. We are having some chicken fajitas, which we have not had in a long time. We went to Walmart and got this little container. It has like red green bell peppers and then onions. And I put a little bit of oil and this fajita seasoning in there. So that's gonna be really good for Mr. Monkey. I'm just gonna have chicken and cheese. And for our special guest, my brother! <laughs> we made it. We made it. Jacob's here for the night. He's gonna hang out. It's a fellow so... Tennessean. Yeah, you are Tennessean now. We, we live in Tennessee. We vacation in Tennessee. <laughs> we do everything in Tennessee. <laughs> It's the state of all the jack of all trades. That's state. right. Sunset is so pretty. The mountains are beautiful. We are going to build a fire here in just a little bit. Okay, this smells incredible. It smells good? I don't know what you put in here, but it smells good. So I just did a little bit of olive oil and that fajita seasoning, but it's going to be oh, great. Well, it smells good. good morning good morning okay so for breakfast this morning we are gonna make some liver mush out on the blackstone i am so excited i cannot ever find it in rolls inlet so <laughs> while we were home i was like i'm going to the grocery store and get some liver mush we're gonna do some fried eggs and just kind of have like a liver mush egg and cheese sandwich on a croissant this is gonna be so good Mm -hmm. I got it crispy on the edges. I just had a sample. Salt on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Some salt is going over here. Oh. Oh, God. Legends he lived with. <laughs> What's behind you? Dinosaur. <laughs> I snuck the dinosaur in Bunky's luggage whenever we were coming here, mm -hmm. and then he like snuck it right there earlier. I, I, I put it here, and it hasn't moved. I'm gonna move it. You need to hide it. I gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> Although this is a very small area, so the likelihood of finding it faster is... It's better. Yeah. Okay, so recap of today. We made breakfast with Jacob this morning. He's actually going to Boone for a couple of days and having like a little vacation himself. And then we're actually going to both meet back up at the farm on Friday. And we're going to stay at the farm all weekend together. So my whole family is going to be together. We're so excited for that. Bunky and I went to the pool today. It was like raining, then sunshine. Raining, then sunshine. But we waited it out. It was so nice. Just so beautiful. Now we've come back, gotten showers, gotten ready. And we are going to a new restaurant that we are pumped for. I asked all of y'all over on Instagram, where should we eat in Pigeon Forge? And this time, overwhelmingly, everyone said the Alamo Steakhouse. So Bunky and I are like, we're going to try it. Apparently, it's like the best steak ever. They make homemade mozzarella sticks. Ooh, it's going to be delicious. We're going to get some of those? I'm thinking we're going to get some of those for sure. Okay. So, anyway. You're that, trading in the potato skins for mozzarella sticks. Only because I plan on getting a big, big potato. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Then tomorrow we leave this campground and go to a new campground we've never been before. Yeah. We've been really, Very really excited. We're I've so been, excited. I found this one like... It was like over a year ago. It, it was a while back. Yeah, it was like last fall. Yeah. yeah. But we couldn't get into it. So we then finally got in. We're going to get in there and we are going to... Wait till you see it. We're going to be up in the woods. In the mountains. Like, oh my gosh. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Yes. This I is Bunky's favorite store in all of Pigeon Forge. This is the kind of coffee cup I need. This is the coffee cup you want? Yeah. This kind of looks like you. <laughs> oh, yeah? The whole reason we're here, mm -hmm. Bunky found his guys. Bunky loves there's a, there's <gasps> they have bunnies. Do they have monkeys? If they have monkeys, we have to get one. Look at the little bears. They're so cute. Look at this little fox guy. I kind of do want a fox. Look at the monster. Wow, so cool. Y'all know Bunky loves his little things for his desk. What do you call them? 
Well, they are friends, but what Those are my friends. Nobody calls them something. I, I think people call them tchotchkes. You little tchotchkes? But they're not really tchotchkes. Yeah. They're my pals. been a long day yeah we have made it to our new campsite mm -hmm. fine safely safely the ride here yeah. was not for the faint of heart let's just say that once you get off i 40 and you start coming towards this place it is hair pin turns very narrow road two lane narrow road up a mountain pulling a camper yeah I cannot wait to show you our campsite <laughs> but Bunky update them on what happened this morning so we're putting in the slide that we're sitting on as we speak yes this left slide over here and there was once you got we basically once the slide was probably like two-thirds of the way in there was a loud pop it sounded like some metal it sounded like snapping. metal scraping on metal or like something like that and then some water started coming out the bottom of the slide box. First of all, ignore what we look like because we are hot, sweaty messes and we desperately need a shower, but we're just trying to like take a breather. But basically this morning, like I was pulling the slides, we did everything the exact same as like we always do as far as like whenever we leave a campground, our whole entire routine of like getting packed up. So it was like time to pull in the slides, I'm pulling it in and I heard this like, you know, loud, I don't know, pop, scrape of metal, whatever it was. And I was like, I wonder if Bunky heard it. And then I saw him come around and he was like, did you hear that? And I was like, yes, I was just wondering if you heard it. And um, basically he was standing out there whenever I was pulling the slide in as he always does just to make sure there's like nothing in the way, you know, all that. And so whenever the pop happened, he immediately saw the water start like spewing out the back near the water heater. But since we've gotten here, we were so nervous to pull that slide out because we were like, what if it pops again? What if it makes something like even more messed up? But of course we had to pull it out. So we did. Thankfully, nothing happened. We heard no pop. We've seen no water. No more water is pouring out. We can't find a water leak anywhere. We have no idea if it was like a fluke or if something is going to show up later. Something probably going to show up later. Probably something's going to show up later, yeah. but for this moment, we cannot find anything. So we are just counting our blessings and going to try and enjoy the next two days. This campground is so beautiful. It's a very scary drive to get up here, but once you're here, it is the most peaceful, beautiful, like... This is very tranquil. Very. Like, I, if you want to just come escape and have peace and quiet and no cell service and just, like, read a book... This, this is, is your, the campground. This is your spot. <laughs> yeah. And the leaves are already starting to change, and it's going to be, like, super cool at nighttime because it's kind of, like, up in the mountains. Literally just the most peaceful, beautiful place. So we'll show you guys our campsite. But first, we're just going to relax for a few minutes because we just need, like, a breather. <laughs> and, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Alamo. We got to tell you about Alamo. We'll do that too. Oh, okay. Maybe after we bathe. After we bathe. Y'all, we look bad. <laughs> look at this girl. She's like, guys, I'm also really tired. Daisy May. <laughs> what is she doing? Daisy. Over here, girl. What are you doing, sleepyhead? There she is. She was having a snooze. She was. Off her leash, and she can just she run, can run wild. around. Yes. Hey, Kay, you want to go run? You want to go? You want to go run, Daisy? Look, there's like a 
I think you can give her a bath. I guess I think you can give her a bath in there. Oh my gosh, you could. She might need one. She kind of does. So this campground is really small. There's only, what'd you say, like 30, 33? I think there's like 32 sites, yeah. But we did see where they are building um, some extras over there. It looks like they're adding two. Adding on. Oh, and besides just the campsites, there's yeah. the yurts over there. We'll take them over there and show you. Oh, it's yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. I want my parents to come and stay in one of those. So a lot of the campsites have a little deck with them. And then right past the deck is the stream. And that is what is so peaceful. We're going to sleep so well. We were talking about opening up the windows and then just like being able to hear the stream from our bedroom. It's going to be like 64 degrees in the morning. 64. Oh my gosh. I'm I might pumped. slide the windows open in the middle of the night on you. I would love that. And the leaves are starting to change. And there's like already crunchy leaves on the ground. This is my kind of campground park. Mine too. I plan on doing a lot of relaxing and reading, looking at magazines, and just having quality time with my Bunky and Daisy girl. So for my fellow camper friends, I wanted to show y'all, I just picked this up at Walmart. Our shower only has these two super teeny tiny little places that put like shampoo and conditioner and we never have enough space. We always end up having to put stuff like down here in the floor. So I found this at Walmart. I think it was $10, but it's just going to like command strip to the side and then it's pretty large so you can kind of fit everything and you can see it has like the drain holes in here so it won't collect water. But for 10 bucks, that is a great fix because it always drives us nuts that all of our stuff has always fallen off these things. He's got our propane hooked up. What's on the menu for tonight? I believe it's buffalo chicken quesadillas. Buffalo chicken quesadillas and leftovers from oh, yeah. the Alamo. Just a combination of both. We're having a smorgasbord. Yeah, because we didn't really eat lunch. Right. We had cashews for lunch. We're hungry. <laughs> Okay, so poor Bunky, his box actually fell out of the fridge earlier and his sweet potato fell out. So now all he has is his prime rib left. That's what he got at the Alamo last night. And then I got what they call the steak and it's like a huge bone-in ribeye. And this is a horseradish parmesan crust like on top. That's like blue cheese and bacon right there. But y'all, my mouth is watering just like telling you. The steak was really good. Oh yeah, the pr prime rib was really good too. I didn't remember that it was that thick last it's night. Thick. That's a big old slab of prime rib, yeah. actually. And um, they give you like rolls and honey oh, butter. Those rolls were. Y'all, they were so good. Amazing. Yeah. The mozzarella sticks. They're supposed to be like known for them because they're, they're ham. Like, they were all right. They they're were okay. All right. <laughs> um, let me show you. I got one on over here though. So I've got some chicken over here. In this bag, I have just a little bit of this roasted garlic and then some tapatio and also some crushed red pepper flakes. And that is for our buffalo chicken quesadillas. And then I put a couple pieces of chicken in here with my roasted garlic. And I brought some of my favorite Kinder seasoning, y'all know. So I put a little bit of that in there too. So we're gonna start grilling these up. Nothing to do. Thank you. 
Come on. Come on. This is the best you've ever done. The best batch we've ever had. They just look so good. Oh yeah, those are perfection. Still a little fluffy. Mm. Today is the day. You know what today is? Black Mountain Day. But what's that mean, Monkey? Sandwich day. It, today is Cookie the day. day. <laughs> Sandwiches and cookies. Y'all always hear us talk about the veranda, Bunky's yeah. famous turkey Reuben that he loves. Pumpernickel swirl bread. We're going to get it. Mm. And we're getting my cookies. Yeah. Y'all heard us talk about Black Mountain quite a few times. I think I have even a couple of vlogs that have Black Mountain in there. We've gone with my parents and it is just like the most quaint, cutest little town. I cannot wait to go get coffee there. Last time we were there, probably too early for it but they had the most cutest pumpkin patch it's only september 1st so i doubt it's out already but i cannot wait to just go walk around and spend the day with my bunkie it is so beautiful outside today Was it worth the wait? Yeah, it's so good. Oh, he said the bread is his it's, favorite part. It's the bread. There is just something about that bread. And he was like dipping it in his uh, tomato basil and feta soup. Tomato feta basil soup. So, so good. Oh, I was thinking, actually, remember when we went to Vail and I had that at Bully Ranch? Yes. Bully's Ranch? Yeah. I don't remember which, I can't tell you which one was better, but this one here, this was like, up there with that okay. because I was raving about that. Yeah, and you are. I just feel like this whole place, there's probably not one bad thing on the menu. Yeah. I would, if I ever had enough room left and, you know, to have. In that belly. <laughs> to have a piece of one of the cakes that they make. Ooh, like, yes. I'll bet you their carrot cake or whatever other cakes they got are so good because the cookies are so good too. Right. Like, their cake has got to be phenomenal because. Their sandwiches are so good. <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. Yes. And don't fear, I got the cookies. I got two of the white chocolate macadamia nut salted caramel cookies. And then I got one of the chocolate chunk cookies for Bunky. Delicious. And for lunch, I got the Cuban and it was also equally as delicious. <laughs> Okay, so we are headed back to the camper. That was so much fun. Black Mountain has grown so much. Just in the past like couple of years since we've been going there, there are so many more things now. We were actually talking to our waitress and she was saying that in the next year, there's supposed to be like five new restaurants. So it is 
booming there. So much like traffic just in that small little downtown, but still the cutest, most precious little town. But he got a t-shirt, we went to all these little shops, it was so much fun. Also stopped at the cutest little coffee shop before we left and got a coffee for the ride home. I think we're gonna have some tacos for dinner tonight and we cannot wait to see Daisy May. So we are trying to head home to our girl. Although, we went the wrong way. That was your doing. <laughs> you convinced me to go. I confused Bunky. We're going west when we need to be going east. So now we're like trying to find the closest exit, which apparently is not very close. No, it's uh, we, we've added 10 minutes to our journey. At least. Yeah, there's one coming up. There's one coming up. Okay. So. Okay, truck is loaded down. We are packed up, pulling the slides in. I am seriously gonna miss this view.